On August 21st, the United States will be treated to a total solar eclipse, one that will span the country from sea to shining sea. It'll be the first time that's happened in nearly 100 years. Our sun and moon are connected by an amazing cosmic coincidence. The sun is roughly 400 times larger than the moon, but it's also roughly 400 times farther away. This means that when the moon passes directly between the earth and the sun, it covers the sun completely, creating a total solar eclipse. The path the moon's shadow makes on earth as it eclipses the sun is called the path of totality. And this one will cross coast to coast over the continental United States. The last time that happened was 1918. That means this eclipse is the best chance in almost a century for most Americans to get a look at one from their own backyard. An estimated 12 million people live in the path of totality, and an additional untold millions will be traveling there for the big event. Astronomy doesn't often cause traffic jams, but when it does, it's for a pretty cool reason. Solar eclipses are important events for scientists. Normally, the sun's corona, the outermost part of its atmosphere, can't be observed because the disk of the sun is a million times brighter. But during a total solar eclipse, the moon blocks everything but the corona, giving scientists a unique opportunity to study it. Because of the duration of this eclipse, and the fact that it's going over populated land, scientists will be able to piece together data along the path of totality to observe nearly 90 minutes of the corona in action. This eclipse is not to be missed. And I'm not just saying that because I'm an astronomer. Total solar eclipses are often referred to as spiritual experiences by those who've seen them, and they aren't often this accessible. So on August 21st, get yourself somewhere in the path of totality and look up with protective glasses, of course.